Hey, what is up guys, it's me Amir here. So, we have iPhone 7 Plus lost camera zooming. Everybody knows about that. Computational photography is the big bright hold of the future of mobile photos. And it's already responsible for much of the image quality improvement we see this earphone. However, you can't ignore the principles of photography. Something Apple showed in its iPhone 7 Plus. This phone was the first phone to use 2x zoom secondary prime lens to provide lost lens zoom without adding a bulk to the phone. We have seen tons of experience with the zoom lenses in phones since the mid 200s. But Apple showed the way forward is to merge classic camera hardware with this smart software to get great results with no compromise in design because no one wants a fat phone it seems here in the next few years we will be seeing developments that will make the iphone plus camera secondary camera look prehistoric but finally being able to use the camera zoom kill free was a big shift and one of my the most feature which i want in each and every upcoming smartphones sony xperia xz premiums have a slow-mo video ever watch this video slow-mo of xz in the youtube channel let me show you have a look at it they use the camera that cost upwards 150 thousand billion dollar but you can now get your own pocket take on the idea with the sony xperia XZ Premium. The phone can shoot video at 960 fps, that is humongous, which captures 40 times more than frames per second than the standard cinema 24 fps. The result is eerily slow down footage. You want to shoot your friends walking down the street with this mode, but capture the water flowing down a fountain and it will look great. As you uncover the secret of seemingly more giant things with slow down footage that we can get this sort of tech in a normal phone is quite amazing even if we are gagging for outputted footage that's higher risk than the current upscale 720p now one of my favorite things Samsung Galaxy S8 yes display good enough for VR if you want the best home virtual reality experience available, you will want the HTC Vive, but we better be prepared to spend a fair amount on the headset, hardware and then try to start on a PC with the jobs to make the most of it. Bank account not ready for that beating. The best phones now have displays that compare well with the top VR headset, such as the Samsung Galaxy S8 have 2960 into 1440 pixel screen is actually significantly higher than the HTC Vive 2060 into 1200 panel. The Samsung latest Gear VR has an increased field of view to 101 degrees for a more immersive experience. Yes, the games available on Vive are much better, as is the 110 degree field of view. thing we have here is oneplus 5 dash charging if a high-end phone doesn't have a false charging these days the manufacturer has a big mistake however oneplus 5 dash charger deserves a special mention because it takes a slightly different approach to increase the amount of juice a phone gets it either needs to be supplied with a higher voltage or current than the standard v5 and one and a half ampere where most solutions choose to ram up the voltage and leave currently fairly low. The dash chargers keeps the voltage at 5 volts but doubles current to 4 amperes. That's pretty cool. This tends to keep temperatures a bit lower, although does rely on you using the supplied cable like rivals such as the Galaxy S8 Qualcomm Quick Charger 3 base plug. We'll get over 50% charge in half an hour. We may not have peak long battery life yet, but at least batteries don't take a week to charge either. 
So next we have the Hawaii P10. Fake pocket that mostly actually works. When the dual camera phones reappeared in 2013, they were quickly dismissed as a bit tough gimmick. You would use them to fake the bokeh blurring effect you can normally only get with a wide aperture camera lens. While good phones have extremely low f-stop, you can say that aperture readings, which would usually indicate a very wide aperture in a traditional camera. Phones also have very small lenses and a small sensor. For the first few years, the effect you would get was flawless to appear, quite often comically bad. Now with a higher quality dual lens camera and much better processing, the top performance like Hawaii P10 and iPhone 7 Plus can create algorithm based shallow depth of the film pics that can be blown up as adverts in software stations. Apple did this in 2017 and 2016. But this choice may be a little contentious as to retry an eye, the effect still isn't anywhere near as a natural as good as DSLR or compact system camera with a lens offering equivalent aperture. Alright, I believe I'm done here. I'm signing off. Touch you guys in the next one. Till then, goodbye.